Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and it's so great to be with you today on this broadcast. I want to wish all of our mothers a happy Mother's Day today, and I pray that God's blessings will be upon you during this day. I want to talk to you about a great mother in the Bible, and it's found in Exodus, the second chapter, verses 1 through 10. She was one of the great mothers in the Bible, and she is Moses' mother. Her name was Josabed. She and her husband, Amron, were of the tribe of Levi. Her influence has lived out throughout her famous children that she had. They, their names were Miriam and Aaron and Moses. What a class of wonderful leadership people in the Christian realm as these were. Josabed had startling qualities that's something every good mother should have. She had a great concern for her family. Her third child was a boy, and she didn't know what to do because Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, charged all of the people, saying, Every son that is born shall be cast into the river, and every daughter ye shall save alive, in Exodus 1 and 22. What a barbaric thing to do is to kill innocent children like was happening right here. And all of them were thrown into the river. What a sad ordeal that was and what a terrible agony that must have been for all the mothers that had to throw their child in the river. But Joshua had great courage. In Exodus, the second chapter and verse number two, and the woman conceived and bare a son, and when she saw that he was a goodly child, she hid him for three months. And also, Joshua had great faith. She had a plan to save her son. In Exodus 2 and verses 3 and 4, and when she could no longer hide him, she took for him an ark of the bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein. And she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. And her sister stood afar off, which was Miriam, to wit what would be done to him. You know the concern they must have had when he was out in the river for all of those three months. Uh, they watched real closely to see every day, and God was going to take care of this wonderful leader by the name of Moses, who is going to become one of the greatest leaders uh, that the children of Israel had ever had. The river she feared actually became her salvation. Joshua had great spiritual insight. Every mother should have spiritual insight. She saw that Moses was a special child. Even Pharaoh's daughter saw he was a special child because in Exodus 2 and 10, and the child grew and she brought him into Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son and she called his name Moses and she said, because I drew him out of the water. So actually Moses had two mothers, his paternal mother who, who gave birth to him and then Pharaoh's daughter who raised him in Pharaoh's court and he had the blessings of God up on him. What a wonderful turn of events. And she had the influence, a godly mother had influence on all of her children. Miriam helped her mother in the saving of Moses she became a musician and led Israel in a great victory rally in Exodus 15, 20 through 21, when they had got miraculously went over the Red Sea. And she became the first recorded prophetess in Exodus 15, chapter and verse number two and Numbers 12 and one through two. Aaron became a special aid to Moses and later on became a, a priest of God and priest unto the Lord. And Moses, you know, became the deliverer of God's people. I want to conclude this message today by saying being trained by godly parents brings results. Children who obey their parents have the promise of long life. Ephesians chapter 6, 1 through 3 and Psalms 37 and 25. A godly influence is a long-lasting influence, and may God give more, us more mothers like Joshua Bed today. 
And I want to say God bless all you mothers today, and may the blessings of God be upon you. And thank God for all the Christian women that are listening today. And if you're not a Christian woman, a good time to be accepting the Lord and accept your responsibility as a mother is right now. In Jesus' name, I thank you for listening to this program today.